So how does Ohio use that money for education? Our three news legal analyst Stephanie Haney looked into it in today's Legally Speaking. Stephanie, good afternoon to you. How is the education system funded and what role does the lottery money play? Because we're talking about a lot of money. It is a lot of money, and you know the profits from the Ohio Lottery do fund our education system, but they don't necessarily play as big as a part as you might think. And to that point, the Ohio Lottery actually has very little control over what happens with the money that it generates for education funding here in Ohio. So here's Danielle Frizzy-Babb. She's the communications director from the Ohio Lottery to explain a little bit more about that. What we are contributing, we don't distribute the funds. The Department of Education distributes those funds to individual schools across the state. So while it is true that all profits from the Ohio Lottery go to funding education in Ohio, it is important to point out that lottery profits are far from the only source of funding. And here's the thing people get confused about. A representative from the Ohio Department of Education told me very directly that an unexpected increase in lottery profits from, let's say, Mega Millions and Powerball drawings, for example, that doesn't mean more money for schools in that year's budget. That's because the budget for education is already set for the year. The Ohio General Assembly sets that budget and then extra profits from the lottery, Jay and Betsy, they don't change that budget that's already been set. All right, so remind folks how the budget gets set and if the lottery profits don't cover that budget, uh, where does the rest of that money come from? Yeah, it is a very interesting formula that works this all out. And I was surprised to learn that lottery profits actually make up a pretty small portion of the education budget here in Ohio. Danielle from the Ohio Lottery breaks down that distribution very nicely for us. You know, the education budget is huge, but the truth is lottery funding only accounts for about 10% of that entire school funding budget. Um, so we are happy that we're contributing as much as we are. Um, and it does, it does help, but how it's distributed is not necessarily a question I'm able to answer because we don't distribute it. We're just depositing money into that fund. So if we look at last year, a representative from the Ohio Department of Education told me that the General Assembly committed $1.34 billion for K-12 education through the lottery. That's lottery profits in 2022. Now that's across all schools that get state funding here in Ohio. So for fiscal year 2022, which runs from July 1st through June 30th of 2022, the K-12 education budget from the state was $12.5 billion. For the 2023 fiscal year, which ends on June 30th again this year, it's $12.7 billion. Now that budget is supposed to be set now based on a new formula called the Fair School Funding Plan, and that looks at the actual cost of education in each of the 609 school districts in the state, a lot of districts. So the money for the education budget that's not covered by lottery profits, that comes out of the General Revenue Fund, or the GRF. That is the largest state fund, and it's where money for our major state agencies come from. And the GRF is made up mostly of federal grants, sales tax, and personal income, if you're wondering about that. So here's the main takeaway here. The Ohio General Assembly uses revenue estimates from the lottery to help determine how much money needs to come from the GRF to fund education. And if lottery profits are higher than expected, that just gives the General Assembly more money in the GRF that they can appropriate in future budgets. Right. And Jay and Betsy, that's for any lawful purpose. That doesn't have to go to education. It could go to anything. Okay. Well, we haven't even covered, you know, the whole, uh, what are the levies and all that. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a right. whole hot mess when you start talking about educational funding. So Absolutely. The local portion of it is a whole different story. We just get that little bit from the lottery. All right. Good perspective. Thanks, Steph. Mm -hmm.